Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake back at you again. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a quick beer review. Another one. Yet another one. And it's a Garrison review. But first, before I do that, I want to show you something real quick. Something really cool I picked up tonight. Kind of a treat. Hope it's going to be a treat. And uh, I couldn't resist. So here, let me check. Let me show you right quick. I checked it out. Look at that. Look what I picked up tonight. It's a variety pack of Unibrows. Look at that. Mmm, I hope some of these are going to be good. Because I've never tried the Unibrow before. Never tried it. So, it's got some pretty cool stuff on the case. Pretty cool looking designs and stuff like that. Pictures and stuff like that. This is cool. Check this out. I like this part here. Look. Just right quick here. Gives good information. I really like the information it gives on the case. It shows you the beer and you know how many's in there, the you know, size of the bottle, the alcohol, the IBUs, and even says around the bottom, look, one international metal. And then you know, so that's the uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, E even it or burn it or whatever it is. E blonde de chamblay. Three times forty one yeah, three times five percent five percent. Three international metals. Next up, the uh, Modite, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, three times, 8%, 21 international metals, and then of course, this one here, Trois Pistoli, Trois, Trois Pistoli, Pistolas, something like that, right on, 9%, and 22 international metals, that's pretty awesome, isn't it, very cool, apparently these bottles here are, um, these bottles here are all all conditioned. They're all bottled. The brew is all bottle conditioned, so it's those bottles you have to give a little bit of a you have to give a little bit of a twist, I guess. A little bit of a twist, uh, like when you when before you pour it up. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have uh, has ever tried any of these. Looks very interesting. Uh, stuck to my little thing. There. Okay, oh, that's cool, awesome. Wicked, eh? Wicked. Oh, those are gonna be four reviews that are gonna come up real soon. Okay, let's get on to that review. All right, let's get on to a quick review. And I did something a little different this time. Uh, what I did was, um, what I did was uh, I bought a six pack of the stuff and I decided to drink five of them first. So this is the last one. That way I'll get a kind of a different perspective for you on it. This is the Garrison's Nut Brown Ale. You've seen that, uh, some of you have seen that before. I'm not even going to try to twist it off. I'm just going to haul the damn cap off. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a different mug tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this one. I haven't used this one in a while. My little skinny mug. Let's pour it up. I know I'm not going to get it all in there. This is just a tiny little mug. But I figured, what the hell. Okay, so it's not the it's not quite the appropriate glass for a for a brown ale, but uh, I got some big bubbles on that one for some reason. Not sure why. Huh? Sometimes they pour up a little bit different. I guess it depends on the glass. Kind of depends on the glass and maybe maybe the temperature of the brew. I don't know, but anyways, there it is. Fairly clear. Uh, well, I mean, you know what I mean, right? It's got a good dark, you know, pretty good dark brown copper color. They all have copper color in them. <laughs> when you shine it up to enough light, they do. But anyways, that had dissipated quite quick for some reason, but oh well. Oh well, let's give it a go anyways. We'll give it a little sniff. Now, I've already had five of these. Just, just keep this in mind, okay? And, uh... It's right off the tops, and, you know, the first... The first, the strongest aroma is the uh, the roasted, you know, the roasted malts. Yeah, basically the roasted, a uh, little hint of chocolate and caramel in there. I think this was made with caramel malts too, yeah. But yeah, that's the strongest part of the aroma. A uh, wee tiny, a little tiny bit of bitterness. But uh, you know what, It's it's got a nice aroma with, uh, it's not, not a powerful aroma, but at least, you, at least there's something there. There's definitely something to pick up. Have a taste. I 
you know, this is number six, and I drank the other five there, you know, the last couple of nights. Um, this this is not a bad this is not a bad beer. It's uh, it's the nut brown ale. I haven't had I haven't had too many um, nut brown ale. Or, sorry, I haven't had too many brown ales, but uh, you know, a couple of them. The uh, you know the the, the the more famous one there, the Newcastle Brown Ale, which is which is really good too. And uh, to be honest with you, some people are asking me. Have already asked me. You know, which what which do you like better, the Garrison Nut Brown Ale or the the uh, Newcastle? I'm like, you know what? Oh, they're so close in quality. They're so close. I'd have to say that the, the nut, brown, nut Brown Ale probably edges out this one just just a little bit. Just has an edge on it. It's just an edge, just a tiny bit better. Um, this one has a nice. Uh, this one does have a, a nice roasted uh, sort of caramel, you know, sort of a caramel, you know, sweetness to it without actually being powerful. It's a. Uh, it's it's low like. It's one of those ones that's uh, very, very su uh, subdued or, or whatever on the uh, on the palate. Not very strong at all, um, but it definitely quenches the thirst. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's got a very low bitterness. Uh, it's the carbonation is a little on the high side because again, you know, when I take a drink of it, sort of uh, you know, sort of just gets a little carb burn on the the tongue a little bit. Uh, Yeah, yeah, it's just got a tiny bit of burn from the carbonation, sort of masking the flavors up front. It's hard to get it. You can't really get onto the flavors until the carbonation sort of s settles down, and then then you can taste it. And... Ah, but this this is this is not a bad beer. Uh, doesn't exactly uh, doesn't exactly knock me off my feet again. Sh you know, just gotta kind of be honest about it. It's It's a it's it's a very good brew. Uh, it's quite sessionable. It uh, it's not hard to sit down and drink a six pack of it. Um, the sweetness is the, you know the sweetness is not too strong. It's got a very minor sweetness to it, but it's good. I mean, I, I would definitely recommend this to somebody. I would definitely recommend this. But the carbonation is a little bit high. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. Uh, personally, in a rating uh, frame of mind, I think I'd have to put this one at a three and a half, a generous three and a half out of five for me. It's a very good beer, very sessionable, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't slap me around, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't like, you know, like, wow, this is awesome. No, it doesn't quite do that for me, but it's very good. Definitely worth a try. Definitely. And I'd have to say that, you know, thinking about just recently I did the Red Ale, the uh, Garrison Red Ale, the uh, the Irish Red. I think I actually prefer the Nut Brown just slightly over the Irish Red. Just slightly. So, anyways, look forward to those uh, those reviews of the Uni Brow beers. Those will be very interesting. Very interesting. And uh, you guys keep your mugs full. And uh, we'll see you soon, right? Yeah. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 17. Seventeen.